you can throw into a match as you can do these things. And that's called mastering the lonely work. And unless you're willing or motivated or excited to master lonely work, it doesn't matter. You don't need to have a trainer. You don't need to have a team to always go to and go to practice because if you're only doing those things, you're not going to make it because it's not enough. You're working on scheme, you know, football for any of you guys that are football players, how much time at practice do you actually spend during your season on fundamentals? Typically you're learning plays, you're mastering, you know, rotations on a defense, you're, you're uh, mastering route concepts on offense. It's very little time. And I'm sure in baseball with a hundred million games that you guys play, you're not sitting around working on your own technique a lot during the season, right? So it's a lot of lonely work. And unless you master that lonely work when you're, when you're little, you're not going to get it when you grow up. Uh, my dad, real quick, he bought me a football when I was probably seventh, eighth grade that was actually cut in half. And it was sewn on this area and it was made to the correct proportions as if it was a full football. And it was made to throw against a wall. And so you can actually find them now on East Bay if there's anybody watching that's interested in things like that. But I would go down to the elementary school, the ball wall, and literally just throw this thing against the wall and worry, see how my rotation is going, see how – I mean, that's lonely work. It's literally just trying to, you know, work on your footwork, work on things alone. And, uh, and I think that's the biggest thing that, that really uh, – that, that kids need to, you know, kind of learn and, and, uh, and master. Um, yeah. Great point, Logan. Great point. Yeah, I, I agree a lot with what Logan said. Um, I think for me, there's a couple of things that always stand out. I think the first one is knowing who you want to be. Early age, knowing, okay, I want to be good. I want to be great. I want to be all American. Where do I want to be? That'll kind of give you an idea of how much work. And I wish I had someone to tell me more of the details of what each layer of that is, because it's not a magic workout. It's not one thing you do. It's small, significant changes happen because of small minute things you're doing small things all the time those things are always going to hold you accountable you're not going to be as good as you always think i, th I had a double a coach tell me this and this has always stuck with me he says you're never as good as you think you are and you're never as bad as you think you are mm -hmm. your worst days you're never that bad to make you like go down too much and when you're up you can't be too up so like you just, the valleys and everything you got to stay here you got to stay here and you got to be consistent because i know you guys play a lot of games we play a lot of games and every day is a different experience, but you have a job to do each day.